<laughs> Hello, everybody. We're Snack Break Club. Hello and welcome. You're well, welcome back, depending you're, on when this airs. Yeah, you're joined today by Bog Drakonov. The God of Dragons, and I'm Zero Consistency. And today we are playing Alien Isolation. I've heard of the Alien series. I've never dabbled in it. I just... Oh, you are... You're missing out so much if you haven't watched it. Uh, you know, I always get the, the I always get the high pucker factors when I uh, go through horror. Oh, it's uh, it's actually not that bad. Uh, the first movie is kind of horror. The second one is like Alien vs. Space Marines. Uh, so it's kind of actiony horror. A little bit, yeah. See, action horror I can deal with. I like like I'm a big uh, Resident Evil guy. Yeah. So we are going to be playing on the Switch today. So that should be fun. So I'm that, gonna go with easy for now because uh, easy mode. Yeah, I'm not that great at this. No, we. I, I believe we qualify the logo as uh, is barely visible against the black background. Filthy casuals. There we go. Uh. They um, deliberately went for the old. Retro '90s kind of look. Oh yeah, all the uh, computers are just the same technology as in the '80s movie and stuff. Ah, uh, '80s. Yeah, it's. Was it '90s? I don't know. Yeah, cassette tape '90s. Mm. Unless I'm wrong on that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So. It's Sega or Seeger from whatever part of world the world you're watching from. This is a bit cinematic, so today popcorn is a I great choice for our snacks. If you want something a little sweeter, I'm currently munching on these Nerds Gummy Clusters I found at my local CVS. All the theater food represented. Shameless plug. Lambert. Parker. Brad. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. That little drama munch. I think this is... Cargo her recording from the end of the first movie. I should oh. reach the front so this about six game, weeks. I think, takes place between the, the first and second movies. The network will pick me up. This, this was... What was the name of the, um... <clears throat> girl in it? Was it Sporny Weaver? It was, yeah. Signing off. I wonder if they actually got her in to record this, or this was just, you know, chop-chop from the, uh... Well, you play as her daughter in this. Yeah. Other than that point, the casting is uh, carte blanche. Yeah. You ever see the uh, SNL bit where Scorny Weaver discovers internet comics? <laughs> no, comics? that sounds amazing. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Ripley, yeah, graphics hold up. Believe it or not. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. Uh, I don't believe it. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. Okay. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what oh, we believe. Oh, Lord, to be the she's been under that welding mask way stone. too long. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. Is this supposed to be in space? Yeah. So Their climate control sucks. As soon as possible. Or someone just got really happy with the sweat mechanics. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. If your AC craps out in space, there's no one to save you. No. No one can hear you scream. Going to travel out. We. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Aw. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. Oh. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. I'm still looking for Company man trying to empathize with the orphan girl. If you want to come along. Yeah. Maybe. So you've really never seen any of the movies? Not really. Alright, so... Um, I am pretty damn blind on this one. 
they're in the original Nostromo ship's crew. One of them is a synthetic human, an android. Um, and you'll Ooh. you'll see them a lot in this. They're designed to look human and kind of try to blend in. You know, they're, they're not like Commander Data from Star Trek. They they have a somewhat emotional response, I would say. Well, Data kind of had a little bit. Yeah, I mean, there's only so many limits to human acting skill and being a mindless zombie <laughs> and still being entertaining. But um, I don't mean like that. I mean like... So that's how they blurred the line. Um, more... Please sign in. C colon backslash. Manipulative. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> sign in. Is it a guy or a girl computer thing? Welcome, Ripley. That's it. She's a Ripley. Explore the Torrens. Yes, you've inserted your mandatory data card. Because that's what the 80s loved, data cards. Yeah. It was like the, evolu it, it was like the evolution <laughs> from old punch cards from the uh, good old vacuum tube. Oh, this guy has a little sumo figurine. Oh, that is neat. Favorite crew member, who are you? Bonus points if you know whatever that sumo guy is from. But is he missing his hands? or is No, oh, no, he's just got the palms up. That's the ship name. Are we, are we not going to know who owns the figurine? They got like a little video Ooh. game thing there. Remember those old little LCD uh, games that you used to have as a kid? Yeah. Uh, I this had, guy's got a... I had Jurassic Park and I had a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Nice. For those things that only had those little segments of LCD that you could make, they really a did make fun things back then. Hey, or wrong. maybe I'm just, you know, nostalgia goggles are strong. Uh, I need to get dressed. <clears throat> Yeah, here? she came out of your sleep hibernation plot pod. In your skivvies. Uh, Emergency okay. phone. But let's ignore that and explore the entire room first. Oh, here we go. Right. Okay. Ripley! It's her personal storage, believe it or not. That looks like clothes. Yes. Alright, I'm no longer... Sneakers in space. Yes, I'm no longer in house party. Ha! <laughs> oh, please don't remind me of that. <laughs> that, that... As entertaining as that was, I don't think I want to revisit that. What's the matter, dude? You getting too close to that alcohol? <laughs> I can smell it. I know it's somewhere. Alright. Um, is there a map? <laughs> Zoom. Select, there you ah, go. there we go. They want you to either speak to Taylor, or there's something also down lower. Alright, I guess we'll go this way. Oh, let's figure out the controls here. I want to know how to run. Are we still in tutorial mode, or can you actually run? Oops, sprint. Oh, press down on the, st on the actual movement stick. Uh. I don't know. I, nope. Maybe it's because I'm from the older generation. Uh, I it's guess I can't run yet. Now I'm crouching. Tutorial thing, yeah. I mean, I, I always um, I always liked that you had a button to make oh. you run rather than pushing down on the stick. Yeah, I hate that because I'm not going to be able to figure well, out... Really I'm not going to be able to run and... It throws off your accuracy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's the android. That's why. So. And that's actually correct, because for all those that... Um, Go with gender. A uh, female android would actually be known as a gynoid, which a lot of people mess up. I did not know that. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen I didn't know android was a gender term. Android is actually more directed towards the male. So, confusingly, it's a gynoid. No, he's, a, he's an android, that's correct. Right, but a female is confusingly a gynoid. Yeah. Okay. I totally missed what he was saying. <laughs> Um, <laughs> is there a way to see my objectives? Uh, I would assume either in your map or your menu. Yeah, there it is. Objective. Explore the Torrens. Okay. Explore the ship that looks exactly like the one from the movie. Oh, nice. Well, if, hey, if you're familiar with the movie, then uh, kudos. You know where to go. Uh, up here should be stuff. And that now, is now to figure out which way to climb the ladder, which you can't because they've put convenient boxes that you can't just climb over because, you know... There's nothing up there. Incomplete map. Yep. I feel like that was meant to scare you. It, good job, like it failed. Startle you just a bit. Well, you know, when you're in tutorial mode, if you at the if you're used to this kind of stuff, it's just well, now I'm eh. back here. 
and that looks like an airlock. So let's go through the this way. <laughs> General, this you can't way go direction. through the airlock. Probably not. Need some air. Need to That's, let the air in a bit. This is all personal storage again. Back in here. Okay. Watch the first three episodes are going to just be me lost on the ship. So this game, what originally came out for the 360, right? Um, I think I got it on Xbox One. Um, and it did look better there. I However, I sold my. Well, I gave away my Xbox One to a sibling, Good morning. expecting to buy a Series X, and then that didn't happen, because good luck finding any of the current generation consoles. I got lucky, thank you to the Amazon website, where I got my PS5. Yeah. I, I swear, it looks like if Seto Kaiba was a video game console. <laughs> it is! Oh my god! Or, what was that movie with um, Will Ferrell where he was the cartoon where he had that, uh, that, that cape, the black... Megamind. Oh. The Black Mamba. Oh yeah. <laughs> but that's if I stood it up oh, on We're totally uh, talking over her again. And apparently she was offensive to us. It's okay. Oh. We'll both get what we want, right? She just looks so he bland. Things? He's probably been up for hours. Speak to I, I can almost guarantee most of these people are going to be dead. Looks like we're up. Alright. So, back when this originally came out, this was one of those games that actually tried to utilize the functionality of the old peripheral, the Connect. Oh, yeah! I heard that, like, if your dog came and embarked at you, the alien might find you because the Connect listens for, uh, plays the role of, like the alien's eyes and ears. And what about the guy who farted? I don't think I heard that one, but I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, God. So that I'm, is how an alien would definitely I've heard the me. game was, you know, the guy was trying to be super quiet. The room was all dark. He heard the alien clawing around, and also he just let one rip, and that was it. He was dead. <laughs> I, I wish there was footage of that. If there is, please someone link it. I need, I need that in my life. I bet the Switch can't do that. Nah. Does, the Switch doesn't have a microphone in it, does it? I don't think so. It is my favorite console, though, out of all the ones I have right now. Like, all the ones I'm playing lately. I mean, it is very good, because you can just pick it up and take it with you. Yeah. I'm also, like, a big Nintendo fan. I love the Mario games, the Zelda games, like... I'm waiting for the sequel to Mario uh, Odyssey, whatever it's gonna be, because Odyssey was crazy addictive. I saw, I actually started that recently with, uh, with my girlfriend. I must have played it, like, straight through. Which really? I usually I usually don't do with games. I normally don't have the time. Last game I played like that, which was like a Nintendo, was um, Twilight Princess, which was really good. That was good. I played that, like, hardcore. Sadly, I keep putting off finishing Breath of the Wild. I bought the Switch for that purpose. <laughs> I have I it, too. I still haven't finished it. I... You know, it kind of that game is a bit like Grand Theft Auto. You just start wandering all over the place and you lose track of your objective. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like I want to climb that mountain, <laughs> but 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 the adventure's this way. I want to climb the mountain. Ganon is destroying the city. Yeah, but like these yeah, but this need collecting this mountain. And, and and oh my god, what is that thing? Why is it firing laser beams at me? I don't think I'm supposed to just stare out the window until we hit the station. I guess I have to do. Do stuff. Something. I wonder Can if I you if you, you stared out of it long She's enough, would something ignoring me now. Would something happen, or would the animation eventually just stop? Are we moving, G dude? Get out of the way. Yeah, it's hard to tell in space. We gotta go compare ourselves to something else out there. Where was the station? I don't think we're moving because the stars aren't moving. Uh -huh. Unless they cheaped out on the stars. Hey, helmsman, what are you doing? Was that something on that desk back there? I'm sorry. Oh. No, on the left, on the left. I thought I just saw an action. That yellow helmet thing. Up to the right. That thing. I don't think there's anything you can do. It looks like a football helmet. Or, or, or a paintball. Know. Oh, it's like an emergency respirator thingy. Where are those just like slam on top of your head in the event of an emergency? Good God, this is what we get for not paying attention. <laughs> Lost. Yeah. Sorry. 
Um, okay, let's figure this out <laughs> real quick. Objectives. Explore the Torrens. All right, we're, <laughs> we've been doing that. Can we, can we call get... this? We can call this episode uh, trying to figure out what to do while chewing loudly. Oh, that's the main computer core room. So in the movie, this is the room where you would go to talk to the computer directly. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you do that. Something like that. The computer's name was Mother. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Mama. Ooh. I mean, kind of, kind of a mix of um, Millennium Falcon style seating and walls. With, hey, there's a dash of the Bronx from the 80s. I turned it on. It doesn't sound like music. Did you put a, did you put a disc, a tape in? A oh, it's a, it's radio. Yeah, I'm not going to pick You're up gonna get the signal radio in space. space. Who even brings that? It's like, I just want to add weight to the ship. How could we be fuel inefficient? <laughs> nope, that's still blocked. It's a personal effect. People's, uh... Cargo. Beer cooler here is, uh, blocking my ability to get to the exit. And I still can't run. That button still does nothing. So, I guess... Back to the robot. In the movie, this is the table, um... On the Nostromo where the guy was brought after the facehugger got him. Oh. Is that when the thing came out of his, uh, gut? Uh, later on, when he woke up after it fell off of him dead, it came out of him at dinner. Oh. In that room where that girl we ignored was. I actually have, like, a little facehugger plushie that I have, like, on my desk wall at work. <laughs> nope, that's the airlock. He's got a little he's got a little happy face on. That just makes it, like, a hundred times better. <laughs> <laughs> they ever did a cartoon version, that should totally be what they use. But then again, I'm sure this has been parodied and ripped off a million times. Ooh, what is this thingy? Oh, uh, Sonic Shower! Uh, no, I think we're just soaked now. You've been sanitized. I Good. Been sanitized. You probably shouldn't have done that after. You are now years. sanitary and safe. Do you drip? Nope, I'm completely dry. Sweet. Excellent. No drip physics. They had sweat physics, but no drip physics. That cost extra. You gotta got, cut something out for the Switch's processor. <laughs> they make great games, but this thing is by no means powerful. No. Alright. Nintendo's never been the ones to go that road. They've always just gone for memorable. We're which... gonna drag the episode on. Do you wanna look up on your phone what we're supposed to do? <laughs> uh, okay. I feel like the intro should not be this confusing. I've explored the ship, everyone and everything, and it is boring. And I hope the alien gets all of you people. Because you're all terrible. They are all terrible. Alien isolation guide. Uh, that was a circle. Is there another door I missed? I wish I could run. This would be so much better if I could actually run. Did I hit the wrong... Like, Welcome aboard the Torrens. Get out of my way. Random ad from the website. Oh, never mind. Oh, it, it is a stasis pod. Okay. Game. First door on your left. Controls. Enter the bedroom area. You get your personal locker, and that's Just where you crouch, sprint. Oh, in. there's a save station right near the uh, in on the stick. where you got dressed. You can look up files in the dressing room. Go back to the main hallway. You meet Taylor, one of the six crew members. Uh, Two archive logs are found in the computer in the dining room. I guess you're supposed yeah. to be you're supposed to be accessing those terminals. I did access that terminal. What is this? Okay. Ooh. Ooh, stuff. Take take all the things. Find blueprints to help me craft new items. Oh, goody, because what kind of game would it be if it didn't have crafting in it? Oh, don't worry. It's very basic. It's like, tape flashlight to some kind of speaker. Distraction tool. Ah, oh, decoy. Excellent. Eventually, I think the alien gets too smart to fall for it if you use the same thing over and over again. Ah, uh, he learns from his mistakes. Oh, yeah. You, can we, like, 
get this over with. So I... He's getting his steps in, man. He is getting his steps in. Eventually reach the medical room along with Samuels, talk for a bit, agree to meet up with the crew on the bridge, and then you go for the bridge for a briefing. Alright, yeah, we kind of did that. That's an exit. Wait, that's not the way we came in. Is it? It is. So, you got him to the bridge? That's him walking around, isn't it? Alright, let's see. Return this... to the dining area, find one of the previously locked doors open. Oh, okay. So, previously locked door is now going to be open. But, which door is it? Because there's the boombox room and that thing. That wasn't a door. This was a door. Was that the door you came in through, though? I don't... Uh, yeah. Ugh, why does everything look the same? I don't know. Uh, we may keep recording the footage, but cut out a large clip of it until we figure out where the hell we're going. That would make sense. Because, you know, nobody wants to watch us lost for 20 minutes. So, um... We'll definitely go up to here, where we're talking about cutting the footage short. Okay, that sounds fair. And at least you can get all this wonderful, uh... side chat with us. Uh, C4! Well, that's one way to open a door. I mean... I bet it couldn't even clear those stupid boxes from that ladder. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna pause the episode here and figure out what the hell we're doing. We'll see. We'll, we'll be probably back. also grab a snack. Yeah, snack time.